Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What unforgivable act by a celebrity did the public seem to forget too easily? Soldier boy beat a pregnant woman into having a miscarriage. He just recently did a show in my town. It was a small venue. It did not sell out. People may have forgotten what he did, but they also forgot he existed, so that's something I guess. He still shows up on podcasts and stuff from time to time. Basically insisting he single-handedly created modern hip-hop. Dude is the definition of a one-hit wonder. Whose biggest claim to fame was a song that white 8th graders awkwardly tried to grind to in 2008. I can't believe I never heard about this OMG sad face. Why the fuck does Chris Brown still have a career? I don't think people have forgotten, rather, they just don't care, which to me is arguably worse. Same with R. Kelly all those years. This needs to be higher up. This man has assaulted, threatened and beaten multiple women. He has destroyed property, famously throwing a chair out of a window at Good Morning America. He has brandished weapons. That he is not in jail is a huge miscarriage of justice and a detriment to society. For a nearly complete list of all of the horrific things this man has done to women see here. HTTPS. Thebrag.com slash Chris Browns dash timeline dash of dash violence dash towards dash women slash amp slash. Floyd Mayweather beat the shit out of his former girlfriend and got away with it because the judge allowed him to train for a fight he was headlining. Don't forget he did it with guns on the bed and kids present. He committed multiple felonies and got a slap on the wrist. He'd be really pissed off seeing this post. If he could read, greatest shit talking in the history of celebrities was 50 cent offering a million dollars if Floyd could read just one page of a Harry Potter book. Richards, Robert H. I.V., the heir to the estimated $14 billion fortune of the DuPont family. Richards was jailed in 2009 for abusing his three-year-old daughter sexually. In an attempt to clear his record, the billionaire offered to take a polygraph test. Nevertheless, he failed the test and ultimately admitted to the accusations. He could have faced a 30-year jail sentence, but his attorneys managed to have the accusation reduced to fourth-degree rape earning him an eight-year sentence instead. But the court decided that he wouldn't, farewell, in jail. So they suspended his sentence and released him on probation. That boggles my mind whenever I see a judge do that. Like you aren't supposed to, farewell, in prison. Or worse when they say, it'll impact their future, or some such bollocks. I'll bet buck either if you checked the judge's account. It would have a sizable donation in it. Or they are pals with the thing's father or some shit. Nobody fares well in prison and it impacts everyone's future. But rich people are often spared the indignities on false pretenses. As an example, LaShawn Thompson, Samuel Lawrence, was among more than 10 inmates at Fulton County Jail in Georgia who died so far in 2023 while awaiting trial, usually held while presumed innocent pending trial because they simply could not afford bond. He was killed by a bedbug infestation. Edited to correct the name. I misremembered. Chris Brown beating up Rihanna. This is the one. And so many artists that I know consider themselves feminists are still working with him. It's always disappointing seeing him featured on a track. I don't get it especially since Rihanna is known and people like her. I still refuse to listen to his music. I have him blocked on Spotify and still he creeps up on my recommended and Spotify made lists when he features in Son's nauseated face. Kilo Green. The way he straight up admitted to raping people BC he thought it didn't count if they were drugged. It was so disillusioning to see him still get features, invites, media attention after that. My college boyfriend is currently awaiting trial after over a dozen women came forward all with the same story. He drugged them and wrapped them or they woke up with no recollection of having sex but clear signs of very violent sex. Assuming drugged and raped, he's been doing the same thing for the past decade and I truly believe he thinks he is innocent or at least didn't do anything wrong. I'll be testifying against him whenever he gets around to a trial. For everyone else. He's currently in jail but if in the future you go on a date with a lawyer or disbarred lawyer in the Bible Belt, Google the name and believe what you see on the internet. That's haunting. I hope you're doing all right and those women can get some kind of closure. It sounds like you're doing the right thing. If you're not awake, that implies consent, absolutely evil. Someone should beat the shit out of him when he's unconscious because according to him he's consenting to it. I learned about this when I saw him in a hotel bar once and texted my mom about it. She said to make sure to cover my drink. Yikes. Also, his girlfriend's Yorkie tried to bite me. I was on the fence about this guy but the Yorkie incident is beyond the pale. Remember when a 16-year girl overdosed in Don Henley's house? He pled guilty to minor misdemeanor charges and then wrote a song about how mean the media was to him. Because I feel like almost no one does. Holy shit this is the first time I'm hearing this. That's what he wrote, Dirty Laundry, about. Boo hoo, I was busted and the media reported it. Jesus, man, can you change the channel? Man, come on.
I've had a rough night and I hate the fucking eagles. If you don't like my music, get your own fucking cab. People seem to really seem to ignore how many musicians from the 60s, 70s, and 80s were blatantly taking advantage of children. Especially the musicians that are popular enough to basically be memes. That stuff probably wouldn't fly today. Considering how Drake's texts are seen by the public. But I'm always surprised it isn't brought up more. There's a famous picture of Led Zeppelin celebrating John Bonham's 30th birthday with a table of underage girls. Also, Steven Tyler wrote in his book about getting an underage girl's parents to sign some kind of documents allowing him to take her across state lines in the 70s. Even worse, he adopted her. Adopted her. If you think that's bad, look up Ted Nugent. Okay, sorry shouldn't have left anyone hanging like that. Shortly after Mr. Nugent avoided being drafted into the US military for Vietnam by literally shitting his pants to show that he was crazy, he legally adopted a 13-year-old child with her parents' permission so that he could freely travel, check into hotel rooms, etc. with her. Jimmy Page kidnapped a 14-year-old to be his sex slave. That same 14-year-old lost her virginity to David Bowie. Both stories very well documented. People just gloss over it because they love Stairway to Heaven that much, I guess. It's depressing. The crazy thing too is sometimes they even wrote songs about it that weren't subtle in the slightest. I can't think of any specific examples right now. But God, how many old rock songs were like, Ooh, my little teenage lover, you're my dirty little secret. Please don't tell your dad. Oh yeah. Quote, Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers immediately comes to mind. He wrote the song Catholic School Girls Rule after raping a 14-year-old twice. The second time was after he learned the girl's age. Zaz Blammy Mataz was not subtle. But for real world music. Jailbait by Ted Nugent has no innuendo about it. I've got no inhibitions. So keep your keys out of your ignition. I steal a car like I got the curse. I can't resist the old lady's purse. Jailbait you look so good to me. Jailbait won't you set me free. Jailbait you look fine fine fine. I know I've got to have you in a matter of time. Well I don't care if you're just 13. You look too good to be true. I just know that you're probably clean. There's one lil, thing I got do to you. Jailbait you look so good to me. Jailbait won't you set me free. Jailbait you look fine fine fine. I know I've got to have you in a matter of time. So tell your mama that I'm back in town. She likes us boys when it's time to get down. She's got this craving for the underage. I just might be your mama's brand new rage. Jailbait you look so good to me. Jailbait won't you set me free. Jailbait you look fine fine fine. I know I got to have you in a matter of time. Honey you you, you look so nice. She's young she's tender. Won't you please surrender. She's so fine she's mine. All the time. All mine mine. It's all right baby. It's quite all right I asked your mama. Wait a minute officer. Don't put those handcuffs on me. Put them on her and I'll share her with you. Jailbait. Jailbait. Rod Stewart. Tonight's the night skull and crossbones. Don't say a word. My virgin child.